guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Milana and I love to make videos about makeup mainly makeup and fashion so if you love either of those two things you're in the right place make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up comment let me know what you think about these foundations in today's video share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I love making videos for you guys so I want you to show me some love join the family don't miss out because I post three times a week so make sure to subscribe but for today's video we are going to be comparing the Kevin Aquan foundation balm and the Maybelline dream matte mousse so these are kind of that balm mousse kind of foamy <laughs> consistency these are different for sure so I wanted to compare the two and see kind of which one wins which one's better if they look the same if one can be a dupe for the other I love making these kinds of videos because I'm absolutely obsessed with foundation. You guys know how much I love my foundation. I'm a huge, huge critic when it comes to face makeup. So this is definitely going to be an interesting one. If you want to see my thoughts on the Kevin Aquan Balm and the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, and if you want to know which one I'm wearing on each side of my face, I'm not going to tell you to the end, so make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. But if you want to see my review slash comparison between the two, and then stay tuned for the rest of the video. So as I said, the two foundations that we're going to be comparing are the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm in shade medium FB 7.5 and the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in natural beige medium 2.5. So this is what they look like. They're both that kind of mousse or balm consistency. So that was the closest I could get. But this is what they look like inside. I'm sorry, my color match on this one was not the best. We'll see how it goes on the face. But this is what they look like. This one I've used. This one I have not yet. This one, if you've seen my video on repurchases and regrets, I will link it here. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check that one out. But I talked about this one and I said that I was not a big fan of this. It just didn't work out for me. So if this is anything like this, I already know how the video is going to go, but I'm hoping that this one ends up being good. So we'll see. Who knows? Maybe I'll make this work this time too. So. I'm not gonna talk too much longer, let's just get into it. So for both of these, I'm gonna use a brush first. This is the Kevin Aquan brush that came with the balm. I'm gonna use it for both of them because it's just, it's just like a flat top brush for putting on foundation. And then I'm gonna go back over it with a beauty blender just to make sure everything is locked in. I've already primed my face. I used the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Primer and we're just gonna get right into it. I am very, very nervous. So I'm just swirling my brush around into the product. I'm not gonna show you how I'm doing it because I don't want you guys to know which one's which until the end as usual. But let's just... And we're gonna bring it down to our necks. Please don't forget your necks, guys. I always say it's literally a dead giveaway that you're wearing a bunch of makeup if you do forget it. <laughs> so I look scary. Let's move on to the next one. Not telling you which one's which, of course. Okie doke. Yeah, these color matches are terrible. Yeah, one thing I want to say about both of these is that a little goes a long way. You really don't need much product at all to cover up your face. I did a little bit too much, but nothing I can't fix. But you don't need a lot with either of these at all, which is a good thing, so you're not wasting as much product as quick. So off the bat, color-wise, I think this side looks more natural to me. It matches my 
skin tone better. I have a more neutral undertone, so I think this one suits that a little better. As I'm looking into the camera, I can already tell you that this side looks more natural than this side. I don't know why, but this side is giving off more of like that foundation-y look, if you get what I mean. Like it's more obvious that I'm wearing foundation on this side than it is on this side. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but they both did a really good job of covering up anything I had on my face. As of right now, I'm not hating either one, surprisingly. Not gonna tell you which one is which, like I said, but I'm shocked at the fact that they're both actually reacting well on my skin. So, so far so good. One thing that I am noticing is that this side is doing a better job covering up my pores than this side is. I'm not wearing a pore filling primer. It's just that Fenty hydrating primer. And on this side of my face, my pores look, whoop, my pores look smaller than they do on this side. This one feels a little bit smoother to the touch. Like this side has more of that foundation-y feeling, if you know what I mean, like that sticky, foundation-y feeling and this one just feels a little softer and smoother. So those are the biggest things that I noticed between the two. I'm gonna finish off my makeup and we'll see how the rest of my makeup sits on top of it. I think that's gonna be the big determiner between the two because I already know how I feel about one and how makeup sat on top of one. So I'm giving it another chance. This is not biased. We're gonna put the rest of my makeup on and I will be back to give you my final thoughts and we'll go from there. All right, you guys, I am back. I've put on the rest of my makeup and now we're gonna talk about the final result. So before I tell you, actually first, let's tell you which one is which and then I'll get into all the details. So I am gonna put these right up front so you can see their names. Maybelline and Kevin Aquan. I'm gonna let you get a good look at me, just like always. I'm gonna give you five seconds, so go comment down below and let me know which one you think is which, which one you like better. So, five seconds, ready? One, two, three, four, five. So, my left side was the Kevin Aquan and my right side was the Maybelline. So now that you know which one is which, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, neither one of these is really a favorite to me. I was kind of doing my makeup and I just felt like neither one of them looked the greatest with everything else put on top. If I had to pick one side that I like better, I actually think that Maybelline looks better. The color match of Kevin Aquan matched my skin tone a lot better than the Maybelline did, but the way that the Maybelline looked in general on me, I think was better than the Kevin Aquan. I tried to make it work. I'm actually liking the Kevin Aquan one better than I normally do, which is surprising, but I still don't love it. If that makes sense, I don't know if it's just this kind of mousse bomb concept that might not be great for me or what, but really looking at my skin, I definitely think I've had better makeup days with different foundations, especially on this side. I don't know how well you guys can see, but as I was putting on my bronzer and my blush and everything, it just looked a little patchy on this side which I really didn't like. Nobody wants their makeup to look patchy. This side was a little bit patchy as well, not as bad though. And the Maybelline side, like I said before, did a better job of hiding my pores. The Kevin Aquan side didn't do that at all. You could see all my pores on this side, which I really don't like, because I have pretty large pores on my nose, around my nose, and I always want those hidden when I'm wearing makeup. I want kind of a flawless, seamless application, and that just didn't give it to me. But the Maybelline side did a really good job of that. Now that I have put on the rest of my makeup, the color difference is not really there. It looks like all one tone, which is nice, 
but overall I definitely think the Maybelline side is the winner. Another thing I want to point out, you guys know I get smile lines with any foundation that I wear. There were less smile lines with the Maybelline side than there were with the Kevin Aquan. They were a lot more noticeable on this side. And another thing that I have to point out for both was that as I was doing my eyebrows, both sides were kind of, well this side started flaking off, which is gross, but yeah, it started just flaking off. And then this side, as I was putting on my eyebrows, it kind of made my eyebrow look weird, so I had to kind of go back and forth to fix it up. I don't even know if it's 100% right now, but it just took a while with my eyebrows on both sides, so that was kind of a disaster with both. Overall, not terrible, but I've definitely had better. So as far as a consistency for a foundation goes, I personally, for me, I have normal skin type. At least for me and my skin type, I don't love it. I love the liquids and I love sticks. I love BB creams, which we're gonna get into next time. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that one. But I think as far as like bombs and mousses go, it's just not my jam personally. Maybe you guys love it. Maybe you have an easier time with it than I do. That's great. But as for my personal opinion, I've had much better foundations. I probably won't really reach for either of these, to be honest. So that's just kind of where I stand with those. Could be worse but definitely, definitely, definitely could be better. If you're into the mousse bomb kind of foundation types, if you're trying to choose between the two, the drugstore definitely wins in my opinion. It gives you more of that luxurious looking kind of skin than the Kevin Aquan, which is a luxury brand. So I'm really happy that I was able to switch it up a little bit and finally have a drugstore as a winner instead of the high end. Like I said, they both did their own good things, also did their own bad things, but this one definitely, if you're into the mousse consistency, I think it would be a good one. Did a good job of covering up my pores. Both of them had really good coverage, so that's a plus side for both. But, like I said, if I had to choose a winner, it would be the Maybelline. Yay! <laughs> if you guys guessed it right, congrats. If not, that's okay. That's all I've got for you guys for today's video, though. That is my comparison between the Kevin Aquan Balm and the Maybelline Mousse. I hope you guys loved the video. I hope it was kind of a cool way for you to see what looks better, what wins between luxury and drugstore or if you could find yourself a dupe. Today I wouldn't recommend that one is a dupe for the other. I think they definitely had their differences. So that's it. Make sure to like this video, comment, let me know what you thought of each one, which one you liked better. If you've tried either of them, let me know what you think. Make sure to share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm having so much fun with these videos. I post three times a week, so I go crazy with my videos. You don't want to miss out on that, so stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.